This is Ravindra Babu. Welcome back to my channel Silver 90s Bionet. In this video, we will be talking about some numericals related to the length of DNA. In the last video, I told you the length of DNA uh, generally measured in terms of a base space or nucleotides. Nucleotides in the case of viruses having single stranded DNA as a genetic material, you know very well. And this length of DNA can also be expressed in terms of nanometers, millimeters and uh, meters like that. Here the numerical problems in related to the length of DNA are mainly related to two, con two cases. One first case is the conversion of DNA length from base space to millimeters and second case is conversion of DNA length from millimeters or nanometers into base space. Let us start with the first case. The case one is conversion of length of DNA from base space to nanometers, millimeters or meters. This can be achieved just by multiplying the number of base space with the internucleotide distance, nothing but the distance between the adjacent nucleotides. So, this is number of nucleotides, sorry, number of base space when multiplied with the internucleotide distance, internucleotide distance. Let us solve the problems related to the case one. The example uh, question is uh, 5x174. Uh, the length of DNA in terms of base space is 5386 uh, nucleotides. Then what is the length of the DNA in terms of nanometers or millimeters? This is the question. Here simply what we have to do? We have to multiply the number of base space with the internucleotide length that is 0 0.34 nanometers. Here you will get a 1836 nanometers or 0 0.00183 milli meters just uh, this is the answer okay, simply we have to do the multiplication of number of base space with the uh, internucleotide distance and uh, next uh, example question 2 is bacteriophage lambda bacteriophage lambda the length of bacteriophage lambda dna is is 4 eta 502 base space. If you multiply this 4 eight five zero two base space which is 0 0.34 nanometers you will get a 16449.68 nanometers. If you convert this nanometers into millimeters, it will become 0 0.164 millimeters. As you know very well that one nanometer is a millionth part of millimeter. Nothing but one nanometer, one into 10 to the power of minus six millimeters. One nanometer is equal to one into 10 to the power of minus six millimeters means one nanometer is a millionth part of a millimeter so that this is the length of millimeter. We can also get this answer by another way where you can uh, get a number of nucleotides to this 48502 base space length of DNA. Here the other way is say suppose this is 48502 base space this 48502 base space ah, this is the base space in order to get a number of helical turns first we need to divide this 48502 base space with the 10 base space here 10 base space is uh, number of base space per one helical turn 
so that when we divide this number of base pairs by 10 base pairs you will get a number of helicultons the number of helicultons are 4 eta 50.2 helicultons okay to this 4 eta 50 helicultons if we divide sorry if we multiply multiply with a 3.4 nanometers the 3.4 nanometers is the length of one helicultron so that when we multiply with this you will automatically get a the the length of dna in terms of nanometers that is 16449.68 nanometers or 0.164 milli meters this is another way where you can get a number of helicultons for this much length of dna okay this is a direct method this is a indirect method okay and next uh, example 3 example question 3 if you come to example question 3 the e coli the length of a e coli dna is 4.6 into 10 to the power of 6 base space if you want to get uh, the length of e coli dna in terms of nanometers and millimeter what we have to do in direct method just uh, we have to multiply 4.6 into 10 to the power of 6 base space into 0.34 into 10 to the power of minus 6 millimeters okay then you will get a 156 sorry 1.564 millimeters here 1.564 millimeters means here 1564 thousands nanometers this is a direct method of getting getting the dna length in terms of nanometers and uh, millimeters in indirect method indirect method 4.6 into 10 to the power of 6 uh, base space means what a uh, 46 lakhs of base space what we need to do here we need to divide the 46 uh, lakhs of base space with a uh, 10 base space 10 base space 10 base space is the number of base space per one helicultron so what do you will get here you will get a number of helicultrons that is 4 lakhs uh, 60000 helicultrons if you want to get the number uh, sorry length of dna in terms of nanometers and then millimeters we need to multiply this 4 lakhs 60000 with the 3.4 nanometers 3.4 nanometers is the length of one helicultron so that you will get a length of total dna in terms of nanometers that is 1.564 sorry you will get a 1564 Triple zero nanometers and uh, millimeters one point five six four millimeters. The examinations, if they ask number of helical tons by giving the number of base pairs, okay, you can follow this method. Next uh, example question four for the case one here. a uh, length of dna of a human cell what is that 6.6 into 10 to the power of 9 base space okay if you want to get the length of dna in terms of uh, meters and uh, millimeters what we need to do we need to just uh, multiply this number of base space with a uh, the internucleotide length of dna that is 0.34 into 10 to the power of minus 9 meters okay here you will get a 2.244 meters length of 
DNA. Okay, if we convert this meters into millimeters, we will get uh, 22,440 millimeters. This is the length of a deployed content of DNA of human cell in terms of meters and uh, millimeters. And for haploid content, the length of haploid content DNA is 3 point uh, 3 into 10 to the power of 9 base space. 9 base space means half in this that is simply 1.122 uh, meters okay and uh, in terms of millimeters it is simply 11,220 millimeters. Let us follow the indirect method also, okay, where you will get a number of helical turns. Here, here this is 6.6 .6 into 6 into 10 to the power of 9 base space means 6.6 billions of base space. Okay. What we need to do? We need to divide this number of base space with the number of base space per one helical turn. Nothing but divided by 10 base space. You will get a 66 crores, right? 66 crores. That's it. Here, the 66 crores are what are helical turns. Okay, if you want to get the length of DNA in terms of nanometers and uh, millimeters, we need to multiply this uh, 66 uh, crores with uh, 3.4 nanometers. You will get a uh, 2.2 uh, billion. 2.2 billions of nanometers nothing but 2.2 billions of nanometers nothing but 2.2 meters or we can express 2.2 into 10 to the power of 9 meters okay this is what the length of dna in terms of meters here these are the number of helical turns and now let us come to case 2 the problems related to case 2 are conversion of length of dna from nanometers or millimeters into base space here the example question is Example question is if the length of if the length of E. coli DNA is 1.36 millimeters, then calculate then calculate the DNA length in base space this is a question related to case 2 here let let us solve this 1.36 millimeters means 13 lakhs 60000 nanometers as 1 nanometer is a millionth part of a millimeter okay when this 30 when this 13 lakhs 60,000 millimeters divided with 3.4 nanometers. You know very well this 3.4 nanometers is the length of one helical turn. So, by this you will get a number of helical turns. The number of helical turns are 4 lakhs of helical turns. When these helical turns are multiplied with the number of base space per one helical turn, number of base space for 
one helical turn you will get uh, the total number of base space this is 40 lakhs of base space 40 lakhs of base space means 4.0 into 10 to the power of 6 uh, base space for 1.36 millimeters length of DNA of E. coli, the number of base space will be 4.0 into 10 to the power of 6 base space. For 1.564 millimeters length of DNA, DNA, the number of base space will be 4.6 into 10 to the power of 6 base space. Keep remember this. Okay, so actual length of E. coli DNA is 1.564 millimeters or 4.6 into 10 to the power of 6 base space. Okay, most of the people are confusing that the actual length of DNA is 1.36 millimeters. Why? Because they have mentioned in the textbook 1.36 millimeters in the page number 99. But here, there they added that if the length of DNA is 1.36 millimeters. That is not the actual length of E. coli DNA. That is, if the length of E. coli DNA is 1.36 millimeters, what would be the length of DNA in terms of base space? That was they asked the question in page number 99. <laughs> and finally, the last question uh, which was asked in the NCRT test book itself in the page number 99. The question is number of nucleosomes number of nucleosomes in a mammalian cell in a mammalian cell what they asked what is the number of nucleosomes in a mammalian cell you know very well that a nucleosome consists of a DNA length of 200 base pairs, right? So, nucleosome, length of nucleosome, length of nucleosome is how much? 200 base pairs. If you convert this, if you want to convert this 200 base pairs into helical terms, what we have to do? 200 base pairs by 10 base space as 10 base space is the number of base space per one helical turn so that you will get a number of helical turns how many helical turns you will get a 20 helical turns okay if you multiply this 20 helical turns with a 3.4 nanometers you will get the total length of a nucleosome dna in terms of nanometers what is that 68 uh, nanometers okay now come to length of dna of mammalian cell mammalian cell what is that 2.2 uh, meters 2.2 uh, meters if you convert this 2.2 meters, it will become what? 2.2 billions, right? 2.2 billions of nanometers. Okay. When we divide this 2.2 billions, 2.2 billion nanometers with a uh, 68 nanometers 68 uh, nanometers or simply we can write 2.2 .2 into 10 to the power of uh, 9 uh, meters okay so 68 nanometers so here you will get a uh, 3.23 uh, crores of nucleosomes okay so the total number of nucleosomes in a mammalian cell are approximately 3.23 crores thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe my channel